India defines diversity. With 29 different states, it sure feels like 29 different countries. Every state has its own unique food, language, clothing, dances, weather, rituals, you name it. Similarly, Navratri, the nine most auspicious days, are celebrated very differently in different parts of the country. And two distinctly different festivities are seen in eastern and western part of India. So Navratri or Durga Puja as we call it are nine days that are dedicated to Goddess Durga. In west, there is a significant color attached to each day. I am releasing my this video on 8th day of Navratri and the color of this day is pink. Hence, I am going to be wearing pink for this video. Pink denotes hope and a fresh start. So today I'm going to show you two distinctly different looks from one another. One belongs to the eastern part and the other to the western. So people in Gujarat who are in the western part of India go out dancing all night long for all these nine nights. Girls have their best makeup, jewelry, clothes and all that jazz. So I will keep this a more fresh and urban look but if you want to make it traditional all you need to do is just Put on some actual traditional jewelry and outfits but the makeup can still stay the same. Now the same festival in eastern part of India is celebrated as Durga Puja. But here tradition trumps over modernity. The traditional red bordered sari and the big red bindis suit women from West Bengal and there is no way you can miss those big beautiful elongated almond eyes. So today let's start with this look. On a clean face, I started off with my Buffet Serum from the brand The Ordinary and my moisturizer is from the same brand too. I applied the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Today I'm using Bobbi Brown's Longwear Finish Compact in Warm Natural Color. Because these functions last a long time, practically all night and it's crowded so you're bound to be sweaty, you don't want makeup to wear off so you want to wear something that stays on for longer. So beat your foundation, mascara, your lipstick. Make sure they're all waterproof and long lasting. I'm then going to apply Bobbi Brown's corrector in peach. I'm applying the creamy concealer from Bobbi Brown on top of it. The color is again warm natural. The same color on the bridge of my nose. At this point of time, I'm going to start using my finger to blend the foundation into my skin. And the reason I use my finger is because finger leads to warmth, warmth leads to melting, melting leads to better, flawless blending of foundation into your skin. Same concealer on my eyelids too to create a flawless base or a canvas to start my eyeshadows. I'm going to contour my face with Topshop Contour Cream. The same concealer has the concealer on top and the powder at the bottom. How compact. I'm using Bobbi Brown's Eye Sweep brush to do this. I'm also going to powder my face with the same powder. After I check if my foundation, concealer, contour, everything has blended properly with no streaks or marks, I settle it down with the powder. So from my Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette, I'm going to use Faith. Extend it out a little bit. Once you reach all the way till here, bring it down right underneath your eye. Notice I'm not using a very thin brush. I want that light brown smudge look right underneath my eyes. I'm now using pre-game from the same palette and just dab it in the middle of the lid. Make sure you're not blending these two colors. Use blow right underneath your eyebrows now. 
and when we are doing the eyebrows our idea is to bring our eyebrows where our eyeshadow ends I'm going to use lockout for my eyebrows with this look I want to achieve long eyebrow look more extended look so I'm going to stick to the natural shape of my eyebrows I'm not adding any volume to them I'm just going to extend the eyebrows I'm now using Milani's liquid eyeliner Now the idea is not to fill the kajal inside because we are trying to create bigger eyes. Try to stick right on the lash line and don't go any higher. I'll take lockout and blend the lower liner a little bit. Now I'm now going to add NYX Wonder Pencil in my waterline. I'm able to create the illusion of further widening my eyes and making them bigger. So I'm going to use Black Magic Mascara. I'm now going to use Skin Finish Highlighter in the shade O oh Darling to highlight. Now because this is such a strong look with red lips and big eyes and everything, I decided to go very light on my cheeks so there is no color on my cheeks. I'm just using the Smashbox bronzer just to blend my highlighter and contouring. Time for lipstick lip liner called Sangria from Bobbi Brown. Bring your lip liner towards the middle of your lips. It's easier to blend your lipstick with your lip liner then. Absolute New York. It's a matte red lipstick in NFA 52. I'm now going to finish this look with some jewelry and bindi. So after following a similar foundation and base routine, I'm going to start with the shade Instinct from the same eyeshadow palette. Now I'm using this matte shade to create the basic shape that I want to follow throughout this look and create the look that I'm going for. Start from inner corners and make a rainbow. I'm going above my actual lid space to create this. I'm then going to use the same faith that I used earlier and blend this out. Take a bigger brush to blend it out. I'm now going to use Kiko Cosmetics Bright Duo Baked Eye Shadow. It's an ombretto color. With a soft shadow brush, I'm going to use the lighter color out of the two. And just pack it on my lid. I'm again going to take Instinct, which was the soft mauve shade, and go underneath my eyes. And now I'll take Lethal. Watch how I'm extending. Now if you notice, Kiko eyeshadows come with a similar color, the lower dark one. But I did not use that. I wanted to use something that's matte. Because when you're extending, you're creating shape. And when you're creating a shape, do not use shimmers or glitters or frosted colors. Mattes are the best. I am going to shape my eyebrows differently for this look. With the Topshop Cold Pencil, I'm just going to fill in wherever I see gaps. I'm going a little lower than my actual eyebrow line. This will create a more fuller eyebrow look and blend it with upward strokes. So notice I'm not using a black, I'm using a brown to fill my lower waterline. 
Also tight line your upper lash line. So using a brown pencil instead of a black will actually create a nice frame for your eyes but it will not create that harsh effect that black would actually do. Remember we are trying to create a very fresh look and not a heavy smoky eye. Now I'll go ahead and create a shape again with the same brown pencil. I'm not going to elongate this look like I did in the other one. I'm not going up from here. I'll actually go down a little bit and extend it out slightly. Again, this brown goes just on the outer half of the lower lash line. At this point of time, I pick up my black precision eyeliner once again and go very close to your waterline. Do not go above the brown line that you've just created. I'm again going to take my Skin Finish Highlighter from MAC and I'm going literally, if you see this little brown line and the black that I filled inside, I'm going right in between them and again creating a very small narrow line. Again the same Black Magic Mascara. For my cheeks, I'm using Laura Geller's Pink Buttercream. I'll complete the other side and meet you when I'm doing my lips. Now using a lip liner by Bobbi Brown, this is in brownie pink shade. I'm going to outline it a little outside my natural lip line. This will create a more fuller lip effect. So if you apply a lip liner all over your lips before you apply the actual lip color on it, it'll actually make sure that the lip color stays on pretty much all night. I'm now using the shade 305 Color Crush by Body Shop. Now this color has a beautiful metallic sheen to it. Why metallic? Ideally when you're looking all glamorous and fresh, the first thing that comes to your mind is lip gloss. But imagine dancing all night with lip gloss. One, it's not going to stay. And two, every time you flick your hair, you're gonna have nice whiskers all across your face. So we don't want that. I like that pinky brownie metallic effect it has. It's not overpowering, it's not glittering shiny but it gives that really nice sheen to lips. That makes me feel glamorous. Ooh, I need a selfie, like now. Wait, this is not my complete look. I'm enjoying this look, guys. Although what I'm wearing is a more modern Lenga Choli look, but there are a few things that I have done to give it that little traditional look with these dots that you see on my chin and on the temples. And a teeny weeny bindi to keep that Indian look going. This was my modern yet traditional Navratri night look. I want your thoughts, your comments. Let me know which look was better. She wore it better. Boom or she wore it better. Who's heading to Instagram after watching this video? You? Awesome. But before that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And once you hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit that little bell you see next to it like, like this. Just hit that. Stop interfering when I'm talking. After that, hit the follow, follow button on Instagram. The reason I said it twice is because I have two accounts on Instagram. One is blushwithme underscore Parmita and the second one is Parmita Karkar underscore Photofactory. This was an attempt to share a small part of my culture, my country with all of you, with all my viewers watching all across the globe. And I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for being with me. Blush with me.